Everybody is always so excited here. Like people, unless they don't make deadline, are always in a really good mood. And that's such a great environment to be in and be around. And people are always very friendly and willing to introduce themselves to you. And you always end up leaving STN with 3,000 new friends. I, it's hard to put into words how great STN is. It's so fun, so just do it and go all out. Just there's so many different people you can meet. There was people from Russia, people from different countries across the country, like the Hawaiians come every year. Don't be afraid to get out there. Writing what you want is what's important and writing the truth is what's important for the world because we are that voice. We are the watchdogs. The government made us for that reason and that's the reason why we're protected under the Constitution. So don't be afraid to get out there and spread truth and spread joy through your, through your work. Welcome to another edition of Trojan TV News. I'm Kelly Collins. And I'm Lauren Bunn. We're here in the beautiful Anaheim, California to do a Crazy AIDS competition. Today's subject is social justice and how it impacts this area in California. is such a sticky issue, especially since we are so close to the border. Kylie Kingsbury and I went to an immigration office to see how they discuss this problem. The biggest real change that we've seen is the elimination of enforcement priorities. So we are seeing um, more people are getting maybe targeted for removal that we weren't seeing before. We are here at the city tower of Anaheim, California. We're going to take a visit to Wilner and O'Reilly's immigration law firm, and we're going to visit with attorney Talia Burnett, who has dealt with immigration law for the past six years and has seen a lot of changes since then. Let's go take a look. There are many stigmas around immigration in today's world. Talia Burnett went more in depth and discussed possible solutions. Our law firm is an immigration law firm. We cover all immigration, only immigration. So I think really one of the biggest challenges that we face is getting the government to not just see a piece of paper, but to really see the people that are behind the application. With the administration today, there has been much controversy and has caused a split in our society. Neither side, if you get pulled apart too much on the political spectrum, when you pull apart and you're just trying to attack, nobody's really got it quite right when they're that polarized and that angry. Immigrants from China, Vietnam, and other areas around the world feel afraid of what may be to come. Werner and O'Reilly's immigration law firm helps give them the hope they need to see a bright future. So there's still a lot of happy, happy outcomes, but there's definitely still a lot of fear. So I think one of the biggest things that our firm has been trying to do is be a beacon of hope and remind people that um, you know they still have options and they're not alone and we'll try to help wherever we can. Signing off for STN, my name's Kylie Kingsbury along with Lauren Button. The Garden Grove Police Department is hard at work to protect those who live there. Darius Stewart and I caught up with some officers to see what their job is really like. Yep. Thanks guys, we're here in the beautiful city of Garden Grove right outside of Anaheim where the police force is doing everything they can to protect the citizens each and every day. Made up of a group of hardworking men and women, they will always work their hardest to keep everything in check around the city. I am a police officer, or otherwise known as a peace officer, if you look in a DOJ at California. But yeah, pretty much I'm, I've been doing this for a little over uh, seven years, going on seven and a half years. I love what I do. I 
I, I guess my primary function is to uh, answer 911 calls or what we call, call calls for service. So essentially, if you have an issue to be resolved, whether it's a criminal matter or such, you call me and I'm uh, the gentleman that shows to your door. As my way of uh, giving back, my civic duty essentially. And uh, essentially, uh, I took a philosophy class, kind of shaped the way I looked at things. We're on a ride along, and uh, I realized that I wasn't meant to wear a suit. What do you do is that every police vehicle is equipped um, to kind of jail. So, what we do is uh, people that I deal with, it's good to know that there are still people that support what we do. And I understand that everybody has a job, and you know, there's uh, more or less, how can I say, influences good, bad, and, and everything else, uh, but I think it's more or less the people uh, that I deal with on a day-to-day -day that kind of keep me going. Uh, because, you know, it can be a little demoralizing, you know, thinking that every police officer is bad and stuff, but, you know, when you have the support of your community, you know, I think it really takes you a long way. And whether it's just like a, you know, one person out of the week says, hey, thank you for what you do, it will take me a long way, you know. Protecting Anaheim, Garden Grove, and a little piece of the USA. I'm Jerry Stewart along with Kelly Collins for Trojan TV News. Equal pay has been a rising issue here in Anaheim. Riley Estes and Salome Yimmer talked to a manager at Tropicana to get her thoughts on this issue. I'm Salome Yimmer here to meet with Barbara Battalion on her journey to a high management position at Tropica Inn and Suites, breaking through barriers and overcoming obstacles as a young 27-year-old woman in Anaheim, California. There are a lot of women who work here and who are in management positions, so I feel like they have paved the way for me to feel comfortable and to be able to grow. Over the ages, conflict between genders has shaped the positions we take in life. But one woman has allowed her personal aspirations to push beyond the basic societal stereotypes. When you her, she will never say no. She's always available for us. And she's a very nice, young, smart lady. I'm our group sales manager here at the Tropicana. And my everyday routine consists of um, emailing and phone calls with our different group leaders, mainly schools and family reunions. Although Barbara's family has paved a path in the hotel management industry, she gives advice to struggling women that the best thing is to keep working hard and to show your superiors that you mean business. In 2012, when I graduated from college, I decided to return to the hotel industry, and this position opened up um, and was available in group sales, and it was just the perfect fit. No matter your gender or age, working hard allows you to reach even higher than your original expectations. Can you? Continuing to strive above and beyond no matter what, Barbara is a role model for her employees and all young women who continue to yearn to their future career. I'm Salma Yimmer, reporting alongside Riley Estes for Trojan TV News. All we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Collins. And I'm Lauren Mutton, signing off in the beautiful Anaheim for STN.